Ladies and gentlemen, it is match day. The Australia Cup Final 2023, Sydney FC taking on Brisbane Raw at Allianz Stadium. I'm in Sydney now, just waiting for a train into the city. And looking forward to this one, it's the first time Brisbane Raw, the closest A-League team to where I live, have made a final of any kind in a decade. So. For them to be here today is a long time come in Sydney they've had a lot of success over the last 10 years and they're gonna be a really tough team to beat on paper they are the better side but once you're in a final you never know anything can happen it's one game it's one set in 90 minutes and that's the beauty of football now in the lead up to this game there was actually a few conspiracy theories flying around regarding the venue of choice. Now Sydney have been given hosting rights to this final and many people thought well it's just the same again Football Australia wanting to ensure that the football is being played, the big games inside Sydney but it's obviously not the case now in Brisbane we only have a few a few football stadiums suitable uh, to be hosting a, a big match like this uh, that's Suncorp Stadium and then you're looking at being outside the city up in Redcliffe where the Roar have been playing recently which isn't barely suitable for the A-League in my opinion let alone uh, a final or down on the, the Gold Coast so when Suncorp wasn't available that was it uh, they pretty much was left with no other choice to play in Sydney which is good for them but a real shame given the Roar haven't had a final in 10 years in Brisbane. Let's talk about the Australia Cup itself. Now this was a competition that actually has been around since the 60s and went defunct slightly before the the original Australian First Division finished. Now the A-League since 2004 operated on a model where it only ran for around six months, seven months of the year. Teams ended up playing each other three times across the season to try and get enough games to make it legitimate. Obviously uh, it started with just eight teams and moved up from there. As that grew the A-League and the Australian teams wanted to gain entry into the Asian Champions League for a bit more competition, well the Asian Champions League organisers, the AFC turned around and they said your season's too short, you need to make this season longer, you need to extend it, seven months of the year isn't good enough, in fact we even play our qualifiers during your off season our group stage so you're gonna have to change that and that meant that they had to either extend the season make these teams play each other four times now how boring would that be or come up with another way around it and that way around it was reintroducing the Australia Cup which they did in 2014 as the FFA Cup so who wins tonight out of Sydney FC and Brisbane Raw they'll go on to play in the Australian the Australian the Asian Champions League 2 as of next season. Too many words beginning with A. The alliteration is killing me. So we're here at the venue for the pre-match drinks for Brisbane Raw supporters. Tony Tom the taxi driver. Did, did you record the bus trip or no? It's not going on mate. <laughs> yeah, uh, not, no, not the bus trip. The oh, bus you mean trip. your your yeah. shuttle, was it? What? You, you know this is for Raw fans. Yeah. I'm here That's to support the Raw. All right, get in there. Yeah. Oh, this is on tape, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something rude. Watch, <laughs> watch, your, watch, your <laughs> watch your language. Watch your language. Watch everything. I, I, We're Rugby fucking union supporters who walked in here, 
first thing they said, oh shit, is there a Brisbane Raw game? Got yelled at by this lot for, for wearing blue by chance. And um, yeah, then it's ended up nearly into a fight outside with, with Scrappy Doo being held back. It wasn't, it wasn't much at all. <laughs> you, you don't get paid enough to be dealing with this, crap. You said that you'd give me a tip. Oh, so the tip's coming. Well, tip, better. The, the tip? Better the do the whole shaft, Brisbane, mate. Brisbane Rule 3, Sydney FC now. Good really. tip? Nah. I reckon, I reckon it's going to be... I reckon it's going to be 2-1. I actually think it's going to be 2-2 two, two, and it's going to go to the penalties. And oh, then man. That's a big call. Gonna get, I feel like that Sydney will win on penalties because Red Bay's much better in goals. That's a good point. Yeah. Right, I'm going 1-0 Sydney normal time. Glenn? 3-2 yeah. Raw. Normal, normal, normal time? Or after? Time. Tom the taxi driver? 2-1 to Sydney. My prediction was right last time. Normal time? Normal time. Do you, what do you got? I got Basically two, all of us, all of us, all of us think Sydney's going to win. Except yeah. bumped into Brisbane Royal, what should be a legend if he'd stayed, Jordan Holmes. Jordan, give us your opinion. Australia Cup final, Sydney FC Brisbane Royal. How do you think it's going to go down? What do you reckon the score is going to be? Um, oh, I think it's going to be a tough game. Tough game. You know, we've we've always had a good game against Sydney. Um, We've had a great cup run, great start under Ross, and I think, to be honest, with the lads we've got out there and what Sydney have produced, I think I can see a 2-1 two -one win for Raw, extra time. I think Macklin's going to have a great game. I think he'll be unreal today. He's waiting for this moment. I know he can do it. And I think Waddingham and a J.O. Penalty will get us over the line. That's what I believe. I think Waddingham's the one to watch as well. And in terms of yourself, how are things going? You're still at Rochdale Rovers? Yeah, so committed to Rochdale Rovers the upcoming NPL season. So, um, yeah, great. Great club, unbelievable place to play, and yeah, look, I love living in the Sunshine State, even though I'm from New South Wales, but um, just ticking over, getting my football in, and then hopefully something from the A-League pops up. Um, when it is, I'm going to be fit and ready for it. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Jordan. Hopefully we'll see you back in Orange, or at least I hope so anyway. No worries. No worries. Raw fans and, like, Sydney fans. I'll, just go, I'll call you back in a second, mate. How did that all start? Bro, honestly, we were, we were just like chatting and shit, like what just marching. The fuck? And then these cunts with all the Stone Island shit wow. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta read Sydney the, boys. You gotta read the badge and stuff. But like, <laughs> yeah. holy fuck. They come across the street and just fucking start going at us, you know? And then. No, they went in. straight for the 15 year olds. Yeah, wait, they're, they're straight, having beef for Richard. Wait, they genuinely went for the like little kids first. There's like uh, There's a bloody um, police car that just came past. Guys, inside the new Allianz Stadium, Moore Park in Sydney. Capacity of 45,500, closed in 2018, and they rebuilt it to this. Absolutely stunning football stadium and uh, much better than what it was. Certainly looks like it's going to make for a cracking atmosphere. Safe standing at, at the home end for the Sydney fans down there. The lineups are in both of Sydney FC's first choice centre backs are out. So Girdwood and Lacerda are in there in the centre of defence. And no star for Fabio Gomez, Tyrone. Sydney FC's new marquee man from Brazil. Who? Fabio Gomez. Never heard of him. Five clubs in two years. Never heard of him. Right, well, he doesn't start either. Brisbane Raw, Waddenham, starting up top. Is he the one to watch today? He is. I reckon he'll get a goal tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else to look out for on either team? Uh, Milanusic, whatever his name is. What's his name? I think you got it right. I'm not yeah, even going to try and pronounce Milanusic. it. Milanusic. Yeah, yeah. And um, ex, ex in the FC for player. Sydney, who's a, who's a guy that Raw needs to be careful of? They got Wood, but he's not on. So he's on. He is on. Fabio well, Gomez. Watch out, watch he's out not Wood. on. He's strong, physical, up front, good for headers. 
good at physical strength. He might snag a goal. I hate Sydney FC. I go for every team against Sydney FC, to be honest. You were going home in the Sydney One of these ambulance. kids down the front are going to get smacked any second by one of these balls warming up. Don't know why this chick hasn't moved. They show one every like four minutes. If you miss it, you're done. He just went wide. He might pop it back in. They're going to pop it back in right now. Look at it. They're popping it back in. Right now, they're popping it straight back in. Well, he would, it's his shoulder, yeah, but yeah, yeah. 
No, you want it to be wheeled off in a fucking wheelchair. Oh, that wall? It's half time, Brisbane Raw 1, Sydney FC Neil, and Brisbane Raw the better side, so surprises all round in that half. I'll get yelled at him at half time because Brisbane were all over Sydney that half. Like, there wasn't many chances for Sydney at all. Brisbane had majority of the possession, they had a lot of the attack. What do you reckon? Are we going to hold on at 1-0 or does it depend on I Tommy think, Allen? I, I that, think, that looks concerning, right? I think, I think Sydney will come out a stronger team second half. It's just whether Brisbane can hold on and sneak a counter-attack goal because they're going to play counter-attacking now. How much does it depend on whether Tommy Aldred comes off with that shoulder injury? I think he's going to stay on. Tommy Aldred's a tough cunt. I feel like that Sydney will come out firing next next half for the first 20 minutes. If Brisbane can hold on, then they'll get, they'll get a counter-attacking goal at about the 80th minute. Yeah, I reckon it Sydney need massive, massive changes, massive yeah. changes yeah. Uh, to get back into this. We're halfway through the second half now. Sydney playing much better, a bit more of the chances. And Tommy Waddington's been taken off for another midfielder. So it looks like Brisbane are trying to hold on to this already by bringing on Tom Hila. Another sub now. Another well. sub. Penalty! The penalty to, to Sydney. I believe for a handball, we point to the spot. What? The handball has been given against Henry Hall, but he's very so he's harsh. It's very harsh. Is, is there any VAR? No, no VAR. Oh, yeah. back up. Bolstering up the midfield, 
and it went real wrong real quick. A penalty that perhaps maybe shouldn't have been a penalty. The ball was headed onto a Brisbane Raw player's arm from such close range, you've got to argue, you know, what could he have done, but maybe he shouldn't have had the arm up in the air. That was the start of it. Minutes after that, Sydney FC were 2-1 were up. And um, well, they're taking home the Australia Cup for 2023. Final score, Sydney FC 3, Brisbane Raw 1.